Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. So if you look at the pictures in today's article, it's about gold and gold is something that's very valuable, right? It's worth a lot and it's very important. So it says discovery of the largest gold mine. So if you look at the picture, uh, it looks like it's underground and that's where most of the mines are. The mines are under the ground and that's where we usually find a lot of very precious or very valuable important rocks or stones or things of that nature. So we see diamond mines, we see gold mines, we even see silver mines, all kinds of metals that are mixed in the rock deep in the earth. We call those mines when we go down there and we try to dig it out. So we see the discovery they found the world's or one of the largest gold mines in the world. So let's take a look where it is and what it's about. So gold has become an ideal means of investment as it has eternal and long-term value. So let's take a look at what that sentence means. So we know what gold is. Uh, it, it has become an ideal means of investment. So ideal means it's a very good, right? It's the perfect thing that you can think of that's ideal, the best scenario or the best case that's ideal. So ideal means of investment is what you use to invest. Invest is when you take money or something valuable and you put it into something so that uh, you can see how much it gets improved. So for example, uh, we invest money into the stock market. So if I have a company like uh, Apple company who makes the iPhone, uh, if I put money into that company and say, well, I want to put some of my money and let them use it so that they can make new things, then the money that I put in, it gets more valuable over time. That is an investment. In Korean, it's called tuja. So we see that when we put money into something, or in this case, gold into our banks or gold into other companies, it is a very good investment because it has eternal meaning forever and long-term value. So it does not uh, lose the value. So if I put uh, gold, if I put money into gold, let's say I take uh, $1,000 and I put it into my bank and I say, I want to buy some gold. Well, gold, unlike dollars or unlike the one, unlike the money, it does not go up and down. Gold has a very uh, strong value and it doesn't go up and down very much. So that's why they're saying gold is something that a lot of people are investing in, right? They're putting their money, they're buying gold because it's many times better than just having a lot of cash or money. Uh, it says since ancient times, it has been used and traded, playing an important role in all stages of historical development in civilization. So civilization means all of the countries, all of the society. Uh, all of the cities, all of the towns, in anywhere place where people are living together. So in all these large places that people live, it has helped a lot. Gold has helped in developing it. Um, so we can see that people use it and trade it, and it always is used uh, to make the country or the city or the lives of people much better. People have long been eager to possess more gold. And China has the fifth largest gold reserves in the world behind the United States, Germany, Italy, and France. So more and more people want gold. It's been uh, something that a lot of people uh, have been eager to possess. Eager means they're very excited, they cannot wait, and possess means to have. So more and more people have really wanting, uh, have been wanting to have more and more gold. And now China is the fifth uh, largest gold reserves. They have the fifth um, most amount of gold uh, in their possession or in their belonging. So US, the United States is number one and Germany, Italy and France are the next countries that have the most amount of gold. Uh, one of China's largest gold companies, the Shandong Gold Group, announced that they discovered the biggest ever gold deposit in China. So this group, one of the largest gold companies, uh, named the Shandong Gold, uh, gold Group, they just recently said, not too long ago, that they have found the biggest ever gold deposit in China. So they found the biggest amount of gold ever in one place in China. An estimated 380 tons of gold has already been discovered and around 550 more tons will be mined by 2019. So mining or mined is the verb for actually digging out, right? So if you have the mine, the place, that they're gonna start mining all the precious jewels like the gold. So they've been discovered and they're going to constantly take out more and more gold uh, at this one deposit or this one place where they have a lot of gold in it. 
uh, the mine, which is located in the Lai Zhao Zhao Wan region of Northwest Jiadong Peninsula in Shandong Province, can produce more than 22 billion or 150 billion won, so 22 billion dollars worth of gold for 40 years. So in this place in China, they can dig out enough gold for 22 billion dollars worth of gold and that's over 40 years, so in the next 40 years. This discovery was possible due to the combined efforts of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology and Chinese gold companies. So they uh, teamed up together two large companies in, uh, in China. So it was possible, they were able to do it uh, because of the combined efforts or the working together of the Ministry of Industry and Information uh, Technology. So that is the part of the government where they are constantly focusing on uh, technology as well as uh, industry. Industry is a large uh, company or a large group that is able to make a lot of things for people to use. So this part of the government that focuses on technology and making a lot of uh, valuable things uh, as well as the Chinese gold companies, they worked together and they were able to find this uh, large gold mine in China. Uh, their investment together in exploration to increase gold reserves may find more mines of gold soon. So they want to work together so that China can have more and more gold because like we said, gold is very valuable all around the world. So we know that each country uses their own different uh, currency or money. So in Korea, we use one. In America, we use dollars. And in China, they use the yuan. So here, uh, we know that gold is used all over the world. Right? So gold is easier in some, times, in some cases to trade and at times has more value than the actual money the country uses. And that is why China wants to keep working together with their different organizations in the country to find more gold for their country. So the countries that have the most amount of gold, uh, as we see the top five, those are some of the wealthiest or the richest countries in the world. So China wants to continue to rise and be one of the wealthiest. So very interesting article. We thought that all the valuable diamonds and gold were already found, but this article shows us that there's still more gold and valuable resources out there that are yet to be discovered. Very interesting. Let's take a look at today's questions. Uh, as you see the Chinese flag and you see a lot of bars of gold. So they take the gold from the mines, they melt it so they can separate it from the rock and then they create these bars of gold and this is standard. So this is what gold looks like when it's being traded or uh, bought in the banks uh, and around the world. So let's look at the first question. It says, where does China rank in terms of gold reserves? So gold reserves means the amount of gold that they have saved, right? Or they, they keep safe. So where do they rank? Are they first? No, we said the United States is first and China is fifth and they're probably going to rise because they found a lot of gold in those mines in China. Who discovered the biggest ever gold deposit in China? So did one person find it? We said that it was a teamwork. So uh, the Shandong Gold Group along with uh, the, the Chinese government uh, were able to come up and find these large deposits. But the group, the company in charge of it was the Shandong Gold Group. Uh, the last question here, it says who made the combined efforts to discover the gold mine. So this was what I was talking about earlier. So it was a combination of the government, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology and the Chinese gold companies. And the gold company was the Shandong Gold Group is the representative of those gold companies. So we see that it was a group effort led by the Shandong Gold Group who found the largest deposit of gold in China. So let's take a look at the last part of our article today and fill in the blanks. It says, gold has become an ideal means of something and it has eternal and long-term value. So we said eternal and long-term value means it is very uh, expensive or it will not lose uh, its worth for a long period of time. And it's a very ideal means, means it's the perfect way of doing what? And we said you put money into something and investment so it does not lose value, right? So if I have 
some money and instead of buying things that will lose its value, uh, like if I buy food or if I buy clothes or even a car, those things, it's not a very good investment because the moment I spend my money, it already starts to lose its value. But gold is a good investment because if I put money in it, it doesn't lose its value. Uh, the last, uh, the second question, it says, since ancient times, since very long ago, it has been used and traded, playing an important role in all stages of historical development of what? What has gold helped develop? And we said, all the places that people live, all the towns and cities, all of the civilizations. So even in Korea, for Korea to develop, gold played a very important role because Korea used gold to trade it with other countries to get things that we don't have in our country and that's how we were able to develop. So here, the last question. An estimated 380 tons of gold has already been what? And around 550 more tons will be mined by 2019. So it has already been, and we need a verb, we need an action word there. So what happened to all of uh, the 380 tons of gold, it has already been uh, discovered, right? Discovered is found. So they found 380 tons and there's 550 more tons that they hope to find and dig out. They would mine it by 2019. So very interesting. So it makes you wonder how much reserve of gold does Korea have? How much reserve uh, are being mined in Korea or where do we get our gold? Well, China has discovered a very large amount of gold that they can mine and they want to continue to go uh, in the ranks of the world's wealthiest. So uh, we see the important role of gold. It's not just nice to look at, but it's a great investment. So I hope you remember what we learned today, that one day you can invest in gold or you can discover gold for yourself and see how valuable it is for yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.